Have we reached the point of no return in the conflict between Ukraine and Russia? Will President Putin realize that the only way Russia will win in Ukraine is to go nuclear? At the end of May 2023, while many Americans were returning from their Memorial Day weekend celebrations, the news reported, quote, Kamikaze drones strike Moscow in worst attack on Moscow since World War II, close quotes. Photos and video footage showed wave after wave of drones and strikes on several buildings. So-called kamikaze drones appeared to target the wealthy suburbs of Moscow, where Putin's oligarch cronies have luxury retreats. One report stated that kamikaze drones were shot down within earshot of Putin's palace near Moscow. While President Putin tried to minimize the damage and claimed that Moscow's air defense system performed perfectly, many Russians were shocked that the war had now come to their own doorstep. President Putin has lost face several times in the last 15 months. He can't afford to lose face again. People are beginning to question his leadership. Why has this war continued so long and yet there is no resolution in sight? Perhaps Putin's greatest embarrassment is coming from his allies, China and North Korea. Rocket Man in North Korea is certainly shaking his head. China, which is hardline atheist, sees Putin as weak. Putin claims to be a Christian. He claims to be the friend of the Russian Orthodox Church. This man is not a good communist, according to good communists like Xi Jinping. So where is all of this going? Can Mother Russia stand to be embarrassed again and again and again? Good question. But one headline seemed to have a possible answer, and I quote it. Russia threatens to launch tactical nukes in response to Ukraine drone blitz on Moscow as Rattle Vlad breaks silence. Now, what is a tactical nuclear weapon? A nuclear weapon that is designed to be used on a battlefield in military situations when friendly forces are in the area. Generally producing a low-yield nuclear blast, Tactical nukes are defined in contrast to strategic nuclear weapons which are designed to kill millions in population centers thousands of miles away. So what is going on in Vladimir Putin's mind? Surely the targeting of civilians and maternity hospitals is a horrendous evil, but what is driving the Russian president? In a report dated February the 21st, 2023, Al Jazeera News gave highlights of President Putin's recent State of the Union speech. Mr. Putin spoke about corruption scandals in America. The Russian president said, quote, They used the principles of democracy and freedom to defend their totalitarian values, and they tried to distract people's attention from corruption scandals. Close quote. He also said that the norm in the West is, quote, child abuse all the way up to pedophilia, close quotes. The Russian president said the West, quote, distorts historical facts and constantly attacks our culture, the Russian Orthodox Church, and other traditional religions in our country, close quotes. We have to pause and ask a question. Is President Putin correct in his analysis of the West, especially in his analysis of America? Are there corruption scandals in American government? Is there moral degradation and vile behavior that is becoming the norm in America? I am totally against the brutal attacks that Russia has launched against civilians in Ukraine. It is inhuman, cruel, and certainly not Christian. Yet as early as October 2021, the Moscow Times reported on President Putin's speech at the Valdai Discussion Club. He said, and I quote him, People who dare to say that men and women still exist as a biological fact are almost ostracized, not to mention the simply monstrous fact that children today are taught from a young age that a boy can easily become a girl and vice versa. Let's call a spade a spade, Mr. Putin said, this simply verges on crimes against humanity 
under the banner of progress, close quotes. So friends, is there corruption in America? Have our morals descended into the realm of the vile and the disgusting? On June the 1st, 2023, Fox News reported, quote, nearly 10,000 photos from Hunter Biden's laptop hit the web. There is nudity, minor children exposed to sexual degradation, and the most private kinds of information. Garrett Ziegler, the founder of nonprofit Marco Polo, said, quote, it has taken us a couple of months to go through the photos, about 10,000 of them, and redact the genitalia on the photos, close quotes. An NBC News headline adds further insight and reads, quote, analysis of Hunter Biden's hard drive shows he, his firm, took in about $11 million from 2013 to 2018 and spent it fast, close quotes. The report states that the documents and the analysis, which do not show what he did to earn millions from his Chinese partners, raises questions about national security, business ethics, and potential legal exposure. Frank Filiuzzi, the FBI's former assistant director for counterintelligence, said there is a national security risk when foreign powers like China see an opportunity to get close to someone like Biden. So maybe President Vladimir Putin is on to something. Maybe he is speaking the truth when he sees corruption and debasing behavior in the West, especially in the United States of America. Maybe Vladimir Putin is trying to protect Russia from the degeneracy, corruption, and scandals that has descended upon America in the last few years. And what about the Durham report, which investigated the so-called Russian government's efforts to interfere in the 2016 presidential election? All that we heard on the news, day by day, week by week, was that Donald Trump had colluded with the Russians to win the election. Report after report, committee after committee, gave the report Donald Trump is a criminal. Then in 2019, we remember Robert Mueller's investigation that did not find sufficient evidence that President Donald Trump's campaign colluded with Russia to influence the outcome of the 2016 presidential election. But by then, the damage had already been done. Donald Trump's image had already been smeared badly. The Trump derangement syndrome was afflicting millions of Americans. And yet a man whom, I believe, is treasonous and has failed to protect the American homeland is still president of the United States of America. Joe Biden refuses to close the border and protect the American people from a clear and evident danger. Now, he is supposed to protect us from danger, foreign and domestic, yet he is not. And yet he is still stumbling around as the president of the United States. The Hunter Biden laptop reveals disgusting revelry in the presence of minors, yet he has some kind of an immunity from any kind of prosecution. If the average male in America was doing what Hunter Biden did, he would be arrested for life as a pervert and a child molester. But not Hunter Biden. Is there no justice? Is evil king in America? You know, friends, the hypocrisy is stunning. We remember the controversial confirmation battle that erupted over the confirmation of Justice Brett Kavanaugh. The investigation was opened after Dr. Christine Blaisley Ford, a California professor, testified that she had been sexually assaulted at a house party by Kavanaugh when she was 15 years old and he was 17. Kavanaugh vehemently denied the account. The Democrats were outraged at Kavanaugh and Trump. They smeared Trump as a rich white guy with no morals. He couldn't do anything right. Yet the Democrats relish killing babies and calling it health care. So I ask again, is there no justice? What was it that President Putin said in his State of the Union address about the corruption in America? Yes, the man was right on target. Yes, and what did Mr. Putin say about child abuse and pedophilia? What did he say about people in the West believing that a boy can be a girl and a girl a boy 
And he said, in America, if you believe that male and female are biological realities, you are ostracized. Hey, man, that man understands. Vladimir Putin understands perhaps much more than many Americans are willing to admit. Vladimir Putin wants to save his country from the evil that is destroying the West, and indeed it is. If the war in Ukraine ever goes nuclear, we will know who to blame. No nation can ever expect God's blessings of peace and security and violate the basic moral standards of God's word. It has never happened before, and it will never happen in the present or in the future. America's moral failures are very serious. They are a stench in the nostrils of a holy God. May God bless America, but it will only happen if America repents of its grievous national sins. Personal sins are personal matters, but personal sins of national leaders that affect the whole nation and its policies is another matter. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him in uh, foot, foot, excuse me. The Biden White House has declared war on Americans. Open borders that allows people to freely enter the country without any effective way of knowing who they are and where they are going, plus showing an utter repudiation of conservative, common sense values is a serious matter. I am frankly amazed that America still exists. The air conditioning, the modern conveniences are all so wonderful. Most of us have slept in a comfortable bed. We are not hungry like millions of other people worldwide. But God's patience and long-suffering has its limits. In the words of Psalm 85, 4 and following, Turn us, O God of our salvation, and cause thine anger toward us to cease. Wilt thou be angry with us forever? Wilt thou draw out thine anger to all generations? Wilt thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee?